What's up, Peep Squad? Peep Squad is in the building, baby. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples, Peep Squad is in the building. Let's get down to the situation. Let's talk about Nene Leaks and Greg Leaks. As you guys know, Greg passed away today at the age of 66 with a long battle with colon cancer. He did everything that he needed to do and everything that he could do. Him and his family, too, as well. They stood close. They stood next to each other and it was wonderful to watch Greg live out his dreams on TV and actually experience the full fledge of life. Even though Greg Leaks was very young, too young, 66 is very young. But we send our prayers and our condolences to Nene Leaks and her family too as well. And we will always think about Greg, remember Greg, and remember the iconic couple on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And also, it was wonderful to see Greg Leaks on YouTube with Nene Leaks. And they was coaching people and talking about relationships just to see how they got, got along, how they played around with each other, how they was you know, rejoicing in one another and just, you know, trying to help other couples that haven't been through what Greg and Nene Leakes has been through. And that was very inspirational to watch too as well. We will always remember Greg. We will always keep Greg close in our hearts and we send our condolences and our prayers out to the Nene Leaked family, to the Leaked family, to Greg's children, to the fans, to the supporters, to the friends and the, and the people that just cared and loved, you know, Greg Leaks because we all did. Now, Peter Thomas was a close friend of Nene Leaks and Greg Leaks too as well. And it came to a point where Peter, you know, he let us know something and, you know, he described the last time he seen Greg Leakes and let's check this out. You know, today is really, 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 really a sad day. Uh, a sad day for me. Yeah. Um, I've been, I told you guys that I got some really bad news last week. I think last week or the week before. I think last week I was here in Baltimore trying to get my bar together and I spoke to Nini and she told me what she did last week Thursday I flew to see her Saturday morning I went and got Apollo and bring him with me and I went to her house and walked into the room to see Greg and it was just sad my friend didn't look like my friend you know my friend been suffering and fighting this cancer thing and it's just a sad day you know what I'm saying he's a great guy, he's a great man he's a great dad, he's a great husband one thing you can say about Peter Thomas is he's no clout chaser and you know he held that information close to his heart he didn't get on Instagram he didn't get on Twitter he didn't you know he didn't tell anybody what was happening what was going on and just to know how much Nene Leaks and Greg Leaks trust Peter Thomas and Apollo to have them come in and to their private home and, you know, see Greg, you know, that's a big step. That's a huge step that tells you that Peter Thomas was trusted by Nene Leakes and Greg Leakes. And they were very good friends, too, as well, because, you know, Nene Leakes is a celebrity. She's an A-lister. She's a star. And people would try to get all types of information and use it against her and just, you know, post it to all over the place if they found out any information on a celebrity or they let them into their house they might end up you know telling somebody telling this person and boom bada bing it's all over it's all over the internet and that did not happen with peter thomas or you know apollo nadia and that's what you call true friends and people that are not you know clout chasers facts and also to greg youngest son brent leaks you know we wish him well because he's the youngest he's the baby please stay close to your mom please stay close to your mom please stay next to her please stay by her side please stay with her please do all you can to help your mom in this situation because it's just really deep and it's really sad and make sure 
you talk to your brothers and your family and your friends too as well you guys got to come together as a unit which you guys are already together as a unit because when greg leaks left this earth he departed into the pearly gates of heaven he's an angel now and he's with y'all but all his children and his family and his friends were there with him and that's a wonderful thing to know too as well that he was at home he went to the pearly gates at home and peace in the comfort of his own home not have to worry about cameras not have to worry about employees and people you know trying to post whatever they could find out if greg was in a facility but he was at home with family because he was loved baby and also it is kind of you know ironic in a situation too as well we finally have andy you know he actually gave his condolence to you know the leaked family too as well and he addressed greg leaks and the post i was like okay look at andy mm -hmm. you guys let me know what you think about this situation but we send peace joy blessing and healing to the nini leaks family to the leaks family too as well May God be with all of us and may God be with their family and touch their heart and heal their heart.